more analysis now. We're joined uh, uh, by uh, uh, Professor John Stramlau, uh, visiting professor of international relations at Versa University. Prof, good to have you and thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, explain to us firstly uh, what this whole catch and kill scheme was all about that has been identified in this indictment. Well, look, if I, if I understand correctly, and it's still very early on, we don't know what the evidence that the uh, Manhattan District Attorney has accumulated, and we won't until the trial unfolds. But uh, it was a surprise that these 34 indictments were all felonies, which is to say federal laws were broken or allegedly and that not misdemeanors, which a, 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 a payoff to a, 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 a woman during the campaign to keep it quiet, a hush money, is a, is a misdemeanor. So I, I think that the lawyers for Donald Trump were not only surprised that the indictments came as quickly as they did, but that there were so many and that they were all felonies. So it does seem he was using uh, uh, one or other of his companies, American Media Inc., for example, uh, it says here, to pay a Trump Tower doorman who claimed to have a story about a child Trump had out of wedlock. And there was another 150,000 U.S. dollars to a woman who alleged uh, she had sexual relations with Trump when Trump explicitly directed a lawyer who then worked for the Trump Organization as Trump's special counsel to reimburse uh, the American Media Inc. Uh, and saying, no, that money was supposed to have actually come from another shell company and not uh, from AMI. And uh, a third instance here, 12 days before the presidential general election, the special counsel wired 130000 to an attorney uh, for an adult film actress. So it's, it's not just that one transaction, it does look like it's a, it's a number of transactions. Uh, does that say anything about, I suppose, the way that Trump does his business? <laughs> well, indeed, and it's, you know, we, we talk a lot about lawfare here and how judicial processes run on. We're still talking about the arms deal uh, uh, shortly after the, uh, the 94 election uh, for the, ANC, the benefit of the ANC, allegedly. Uh, but this is a past master, Donald Trump. Donald Trump's first run-in with the law was with his father 50 years ago, 1973, over race discrimination. They didn't allow blacks to get a fair hearing for properties that they were renting in their big housing complex in Queens. And it's gone on ever since. He's got 23 cases against him right now, but the man has never, ever served a, a day in jail. He's never been con really convicted. He's plea bargained an awful lot. He's had, what, six or eight bankruptcies in his career. Um, he's a hustler. He's a consummate hustler and uh, does not. I mean, what, what scares me is whether or not his base can leverage uh, uh, a nomination for him and that he might indeed get a second term, which would be a catastrophe for the United States and probably for the world. Why do you think he pleaded, pleaded not guilty? Why did he, why did, did he get so investigated? No, Trump, why do you think he pleaded not guilty to the 34 felonies? Why did I, I couldn't hear the question? I'm saying, why, why, why do you think Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to the 34 felonies? I mean, he was caught by oh, the Oh, of course, he always pleads not guilty. He says this is a witch hunt. He says that he's made racist uh, comments about the very distinguished Manhattan district attorney who was elected the first black man to serve in that position. It was a natural for him to call him an animal. I mean, that's the way Trump operates. Uh, he doesn't mind using falsehoods, you know, the Washington Post uh, discussed or tried to keep tabs of, of, of 30,000 plus uh, during his four years of fabrications or misstatements. Uh, the man uh, is shameless. He's totally shameless. I've never seen a politician, uh, at least Richard Nixon, <laughs> exhibited some shame when, part, when pardoned by Gerald Ford. Um, but no U.S. president, unlike here, 
has ever seen orange yellow uh, uniforms and uh, uh, and and is has gone to jail even for a brief time and maybe Trump this time the the, the luck will run out for the, for the man but he is uh, he's definitely a Teflon character. Is this going to have in in your analysis any impact on his election campaign? Well, so far it has had an impact on mobilizing his supporters. He brags that four million dollars was con- was contributed in the first 24 hours since the indictments were announced, and that 16,000 uh, volunteers have signed up for service on his behalf of his candidacy. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know how to re- re- read this, but I would like to make the point that there is no social uh, courage displayed by any of the, almost any of the Republicans, certainly the, the elected officials surrounding him. They're all ducking for cover. We don't know how many of them feel uh, they wish Trump would go away. But they're they're saluting and 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 voicing support, except that the former governor of uh, Arkansas, uh, Asa Hutchinson, has announced that he will contest the election. And we think that uh, there will be several other candidates, whether or not Trump can remain the favorite. He is now the favorite of the Republicans to be renominated. And it's a shock to me, but that's what the polls tell you right now. Um, then, then, uh, may, maybe there'll be a, ch- a challenger who will, will, will get traction. But, 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 but Trump does suck up all the oxygen in the room, at least for the, for, for those people who, who, who are concerned that America is becoming more like South Africa, a country that belongs to all who live there, united in its diversity. That, the, the, the diversity demographics are changing rapidly in the United States. Uh, and and the the old historic ethnic majority will be a minority. Professor John Stramlaw, appreciate your time and uh, for staying up tonight. And thank you very much uh, for coming on. Thank you. Visiting Professor of International Relations at uh, Wirtz University. Yeah, what we know about the charges so far, the court filing says that former President uh, Trump, with intent to defraud and intent to commit another crime and aid and conceal the commission thereof, uh, made and caused a false entry in the business records of an enterprise. Serious, serious charges. It does seem according to uh, the United States business laws.